ain't even gonna stick to it. Good morning everybody, Blue Dooley. We're doing a little trust delivery video. Checking my straps. <coughs> Checking my lights. Make sure my flags are tied in. Already did my pre-trip this morning. Just double checking my straps before I head out. This is one big house. And here you can see the notches. 42, 47, 53 is how long we are at the trailer. My new knobby tires. But I especially need to make sure that flag is tied in because it blows away. Got my mirror pulled out so I can see around the load. Sign on. a little different this morning. I thought we'd put you on the hat while we're heading out of town. I'm not going to keep you up here the whole trip out to uh, Pocatello. But we'll get down here to the interstate and uh, pull off to the side. Turn the cameras off and get motoring down the road. Heading up to the new temple there in Pocatello with, with a pretty good sized house. Supposed to be really nice today. Like upper 60s, low low 70s. So that'll be that'll be a nice change. As you can see, the tack's not working. The body control module contain uh, controls all those gauges, and we changed it out. But this one's starting to act up a little bit too. And I don't really need a tack. I've been driving this truck long enough, I kind of just drive it by ear. But the important gauges work like the speedometer, oil pressure, temperature, charger, air pressures. And I run the GPS even though I kind of know where I'm going just to... I don't remember all the street names where I'm going, but I know most of them. Like I said, this is where we're going to cut you off here after I get around the corner. Checking in from the cold water rest area. Right there's the Snake River running up the canyon. Good place to stretch your legs and uh, on trusses, I like pulling in here because usually I got a strap come loose and just check the load. Warmed up quite a bit since we left the yard, but definitely another beautiful day. Grab my gloves. gonna pull that down more and bow it. We don't need to do that. That stayed tight. That one stayed tight. You stayed tight. Our flag's still on. 
Sign's still on. I'll just check this side. Make sure our flags are still where they need to be. And then you can kind of see on this one, you can see where I've pulled that stack over, tightening them down. These bands, when you pick them up, moving them around the yard, they'll stretch a little bit so they'll get a little loose. Just stuff you gotta keep an eye on when you're hauling trusses. Everything still looks good, so back in the truck and away we go. We got the GoPro mounted back up on top of the cab. We're running at about two times speed, just to kind of keep the video a little shorter. I turned down the volume a little bit because there was a lot of wind noise. I just kind of think this is a cool angle and uh, it kind of makes it easy to see how the load's sitting on the trailer. As I mentioned in past videos, we leave the driver's side of the truck uh, a clear sight line so we don't have to use any mirror extensions or anything on the driver's side. And we hang everything else off the passenger side. It gives us a little better sight line down the one side of the truck. And then actually since uh, when you uh, blindside back it, or since we're in a day cab, you can actually look out the back window and see the peaks most of the time. This angle also uh, kind of shows you how you got to swing around parked cars and things on the side of the road with the peaks. The trailer's actually tall enough you can clear most garbage cans, but if there's stuff sticking out of them like that one, uh, you will knock them over. And mailboxes are kind of hit or miss depending on how tall they are. But just look out that mirror extension and you kind of get used to how far you got to be away from something after you get used to the loads. Stopping here at a stop sign for some traffic and you'll see how much wider you got to swing because if I had stayed closer to that curb I might have caught that stop sign with those peaks. And we'll just get another tight turn and get closer up to where we're headed. Between the last clip and this clip, I actually stopped and talked to the guy, figured out where he wanted the trusses set. There really is only one place to put them, and that's on the east side of the house, which is where we're getting ready to back up the road and into. I did have to have the guys doing some concrete finishing work on the patio, uh, pull their truck forward a little bit just to give myself a little more room to get in there. I could have had them move that other pickup truck on the uh, next to the temple there. I figured they were kind of busy trying to get their stuff done, so just moved that one pickup truck out of the way and gave myself, pl gave myself plenty of room. That is the new Mormon temple up in uh, Pocatello. And it was quite busy despite being uh, 10 o'clock in the morning on Thursday. <laughs> so we're going to get back in here and get unstrapped which I also sped up because uh, the guys were listening to a radio and I didn't want to worry about copyright strikes from the radio now for unstrapping the load we're at almost four times speed so really get it unloaded here I was gonna leave myself a little bit longer chunk of video to uh, kind of over explain how I determined where to put the load and realize the video is going to be really long so that might work in another video I think I might just do a video just on that and kind of skip some of the other loading and driving portions of the video so get unstrapped and then we'll uh, get backed in and get unloaded Make sure the radio's off because I don't want to get copyright strike. Just 
slot bang. As soft as this dirt is back there, should dig in pretty pretty quickly. I don't like that I'm at a bit of an angle. He would have liked to have him a little closer to the uh, curb, but that trailer's kind of in the way. And turning out from underneath him, you risk tearing stuff up. So we'll just creep out straight as we can. As soon as all this traffic goes by. Then we'll start cutting around. Miss that. We'll go ahead and slide our axles and continue turning. Turn our hazards on. Or as I like to call them, our park wherever we want lights. Get them fully locked before we shorten the trailer up. I did leave the GoPro up until I got completely unloaded just so I could have a couple angles of uh, unloading. So this is basically what you just saw, but from the top of the cab of the truck.
The other nice thing about this angle is you can see when I start sliding the tandems into the back end of the trailer. You can kind of see how the trailer just pivots around. I think that's where we're going to call this video though. The uh, front pack is one house, the back pack's another house. We're not hanging off that far off the back and we're not really all that wide, so. They both go to Pocatello Monday, so. And we just about got another 15 minute clip on here, so. As always, if you enjoy the content, be sure to subscribe and click like to let me know that you do like the content. And this is Friday, so hope everyone has a good week is having a good weekend because this will be posted Sunday. So we'll catch you later.